Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Whether you are a data scientist, data engineer, data analyst, if you are working in a data space, then SQL is something you cannot miss. So in this particular video, we will solve one SQL question that was asked in Google. I will explain you everything, how to read question, how to go about finding the right solution, how to understand data and how to build your final query and submit the solution. So without wasting time, let's get started. Hey guys, so let's get started. So our today's problem is top three salaries. So let's try to understand our question first and then we will understand how to build a solution around it. So the question is given the employees and the departments table, write a query to get the top three highest employee salaries by department. Okay. So what they are asking is to write a query and get the top three highest employee salary by different departments. If the department contains less than three employees, the top two or top one highest salary should be listed. Assume that each department has at least one employee. So they have specifically told us to assume that each department has at least one employee. And there is one note, the output should include full name of the employee in one column. Okay. The department name and the salary. So they are asking three things. The output should be sorted by department name in ascending order and salary in descending order. So we read the question and we will try to break down this entire question into smaller chunk and we will try to solve by that. So they have given us the two input. One is the employee table as they stated in the employee table. We have like five columns ID, first name, last name, salary and department ID. And inside the department table, we have two columns ID and name. So it should be the department ID and department name. And in the output, they are asking employee name department name and salary. Okay. So let's solve this particular query step by step. So first what we will do, we will just check the data, how our data looks. Okay. So select star from, if you know basic SQL, then you can directly go select star from employees and just run this particular query to see what the data contains. So as you can see over here, it contains ID, first name, last name as stated over here. And this is what the data looks like. Okay. So what we can do, we can use this department ID from this particular table and join this to this particular department ID, which has ID column. So this is pretty simple. Okay. If you understand basic join, what we're going to do, we will up apply alias over here, then inner join. Okay. We'll just use the simple inner join. Then we will use department, which is our D. Then we will use on e dot inside the e we have department id so we just gonna use that e dot department id is equal to inside the department uh, table we have id as column so we're gonna use that d dot id okay this is straightforward we're not using any any like you know complex things we are just joining two different tables using department id because we have common thing over here which is inside the employee table we have department id and inside the department we have id that is called as department id and we will run this particular query and what we will get we will get the entire records of the employee table and if we scroll we will also get the id and name from the department table so currently we are getting everything okay from this both of these table now what we need we just need few columns because they did not ask us a lot of columns so we will only select the columns that we need. So what they ask us is the employee name. So employee name is basically first name and the last name. So we will just do that e dot first name. Okay. Comma e dot last name. Then what they are asking us department name. Okay. So department name is in this particular thing. So department table. So d dot department name. Okay. D dot name, which is department name. And we not need salary is basically E dot salary. Okay. We just need these four columns to actually give work with the final output because they were asked only these things. So we will just select those three. So first name, last name, okay. The department name and the salary. Now we got all the four columns that we needed. Now let's try to understand what they are asking. So what they are saying is write a query to get top three highest employee salaries by department. Okay. So if we want to understand uh, how to get the top three salaries, well, what we will do, we will just filter out one single department and see what it looks like. So I will pick the engineering department. So where you can just write where D dot name is equal to engineering. So this will filter out all the engineering departments and I will do order by order by that is basically our salary. Okay. In the descending order. DESC, which is descending order. And if we run this, you will see, we will get all the different departments only for the engineering. And these are the top 
salaries okay inside the descending order so in our output we should only get for the engineering department these three rows we should not get any other rows so this is what they are asking they are asking write a query to get top three highest employee salaries by department so we just need three rows okay top three rows based on the salary so these are the highest salary for these three employees for the engineering department like this we want this particular thing to happen for all the different departments available inside the department table all right so this is pretty clear what we want now what they are saying is that if department contains less than three employees okay the top two and the top one highest salary should be returned so what that basically means is that let's let's remove this engineering where condition okay and let's pick uh, some other department over here so let's pick um sales okay let's go with the sales and let's use the sales to get the final output so over here what we can see we will see inside the sales we only have two different employees okay so inside the sales department we have two different employees so based on their ask if they don't have three employees the top two or top one highest salary should be listed so this sales department does not have three employees they have only two employees so these two employees should be listed that's it that's that is all they are asking okay so we don't have to do any complex logic over here now the problem statement should be clear so let's remove this particular thing and let's get all the departments and let's try to build proper solution now we will try to understand how we will build the proper output so we understood our problem statement and we also queried some of the data to understand how the tables are structured now what we need to do we need to focus on how to generate the right output that they want so basically the output should include full name of the employee now full name basically means combination of first name and the last name okay now to do that we need to concat these particular two columns and make them into one particular column and doing that is pretty easy you just need to use concat function that is available in the mysql so you just, so you just write concat first name okay then you have to then you have to provide space between this comma and you just close this right as 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 uh, employee name as just stated over here and just write it as it is employee name and comma and let's just run this particular thing and we will see we just we will get three columns okay employee name this is what we got okay department name we will also rename this particular name to department so that uh, it becomes easier to understand so let's just write this as a department name and let's go and we will get the output as employee name department name and the salary okay so we got the three columns that we need but now what we need to do we need to filter out some of the data and get the top three records only based on the salary and to do that we will use something called as rank function okay so rank is analytical function inside the sql that is used to create a rank column based on different partition or the order you select so let's try to understand that by doing hands-on practice okay just we will just write rank okay this is uh, the syntax over okay now you need to provide two things one is partition partition column partition by okay inside the partition we will use department okay department id or department name whatever you want to use we'll just use the department name because we want to rank it based on the different department because we have multiple departments and for each and every individual department we need to provide different ranks so over here we will just write partition by uh, d dot name which is our department name okay so we just partition our table based on the department name okay now what we will do we will order it by the salary in the descending order okay that is e dot salary desc so what we are doing is partitioning by the department name so for each and every department we will partition and give the rank and it will be sorted based on salary in the descending order so let's just run this query and try to understand what is happening okay so right now we have multiple departments and as you can see you see rank over here so we just need to give some column name as uh, let's give it rank okay r and k okay this is not the keyword so we will get the proper output okay so we will see some kind of rank is assigned to it now to understand it we will just again filter this where department name is equal to engineering okay i'll just run this particular query so as you can see in the output we got the rank so this particular rank is based on department name so we use partition by department name so for each and every department it is giving rank based on the salary in descending order so the highest salary is 3333 which is getting the rank 1 because we are sorting it by descending order 
then then the second highest salary is the rank 2 and likewise you will get all the different ranks so now things got much easier because so if i have to get top 3 salaries based on different department ids all i have to do is put the where condition put the rank as less than equal to 3 or less than 4 and we will get top 3 salaries based on different department ids but the thing is we can't directly use rank condition over here so let's let's let me try that okay where rank is less than equal to 3 and if i just run this i will get some error and it says unknown column rank in where clause so as you can see we are creating this rank column inside the query so this is happening in runtime okay so when the query runs it tries to filter this particular thing first so it will try to find the rank column okay that doesn't exist yet so it will try to filter out data based on the rank but it does not have the rank column because it is not created yet so what we need to do is we need to put this into something called as cte okay common table expression so that is pretty simple so let me just write this okay with the syntax is with cte as okay then we're gonna be doing as it is so you just open the bracket over here and close the bracket at the end of the query okay and just write select star from cte okay this is in the small and provide the semicolon okay and just run the query and you will see something you will get the same output okay the output will be the same but what we are doing over here is just we are creating something called as a common table expression it is basically the temporary table not exactly the temporary table but you can use this kind of the expression to build table after table and filter out different data based on your need okay so you can create one common table expression okay uh, that will store all the output that you have written inside this particular query so it will get stored inside this CTE table then you can use this CTE table to query the final data now what I need to do select star from CTE if I did that I get all the different output so I'm just gonna uh, select the only column that we need which is seat employee name okay department name and salary and what i'll do i'll just put the where condition over here where let's just keep it where rank is less than equal to three i'll just run this query okay so this is what our final output looks like but still we are left to do some of the other work so what are the other work the output should be sorted by department name in ascending order and salary in descending order okay so what they are asking is we need to order it okay which is basically order by the output should be sorted by department name so we'll use department name in ascending order asc basically ascending order and salary okay so salary in descending order and we'll just run this particular query and we'll get the final output okay so as you can see first it is basically sorting it by ascending order so engineering e come first up before the hr h so engineering and it is sorting salary by descending order so this is the highest salary inside the engineering department this is the highest salary inside the hr department this, are, this is the highest salary in the marketing department and this is the highest salary inside the sales department okay now what we need to do we just need to submit this particular solution okay it should pass the all the test cases as you can see there were two total test cases and it passed the any any test case did not fail so as you can see our output is exactly matching what they are expected okay so what whatever the output is expected from them is exactly matching so i just showed you one particular way to solve this particular problem but there are multiple ways using that you can solve this particular problem so if you have better solution or other solution in your mind then you can put that in comment section and i will look into it and if you like this particular video and if you learned something then let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this and as always, don't forget to hit that like button because it will help my channel to grow and reach more and more people. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.